A group of black artists known as the Highwaymen are finally getting their moment in the spotlight. For years, they had to ride around showing their works of art out of the trunks of their cars, but now they have an exhibit for Black History Month. Local 10's Nikki Mohan shows us. These are two of my father's pieces, and they were done uh, to keep the price down. They actually painted on a thing called Upson Board, which was used back then like drywall is now. Artist Kelvin Hare is the son of the original Florida highwayman, Alfred Hare, a landscape artist in the 1950s who was determined to be a success. During that time, you know, during the 50s and 60s, being uh, black, you couldn't display your artwork in a museum or a gallery. You know, you couldn't even use a public restroom. So Hare took his show on the road and sold his paintings out of his car very inexpensively. To make a living, he had to paint fast. Each one individually probably took maybe 10 minutes. They painted exactly what they saw and the way they felt. So you walked away with uh, vibrant colors. Other artists soon joined him and created the works which once sold for $20 they now sell for thousands and hang in the Florida State House. Even the First Lady of the United States recently bought a piece. Hare's father died when he was five, but now he hits the road to pass the spirit of the highwayman on to future artists. Ruth Barot is a digital artist at Dillard High. The fact that he's actually teaching us and at my high school, like he's actually like teaching us his secrets, like it's amazing, like it's engulfing. It's very inspirational, the fact that he works so hard, it makes me think if I work hard enough, I can make it just like as he did. And that's what Hare wants for them, to show that a true artist will always find a way to overcome obstacles. For the next month, you can catch original highwayman art as well as second generation artwork here at the Fort Lauderdale Historical Society. There's also a permanent display in Tallahassee year round. In Fort Lauderdale, Nikki Mohan, Local 10 News.